Hi, this is Vishal Kaushik. I am a Microsoft MVP on Windows Platform Development. In this series of videos, I am going to present XAML UI design tips and tricks that will enable you to do some cool stuff in XAML using Visual Studio and Blend for Visual Studio. In this particular session, I am going to talk about animation. How we can do basic animation and uh, some some little bit of advanced concepts there so let's quickly go to visual studio and let's create one new project i'll be choosing universal apps template and i'll name it animation Let's wait for it to create this. So for animating, uh, I'll select a Windows 8 project. And in Windows 8 project, let's go to the main page dot XAML. And let's do very first change. Generally, when we are doing animation, and moving objects here and there uh, preferably we should be using canvas because in canvas we can precisely place objects at a particular location you can be using grid also but uh, i'd suggest that you use a canvas for this so let's convert this into canvas And uh, let's put an ellipse over here. And here you go. You see a, a, a ellipse standing uh, at the topmost corner of the screen. With this uh, created, I'll move to Blend for Visual Studio 2013 and open this project over there. loading here all right in blend for animation uh, the toolbar that you need to use is objects and timeline to create animation you need to add a storyboard and to do that what you need to do is you need to click on this plus symbol here so let's add a ellipse animation The moment you do that, you would notice that it has turned on recording mode. The recording mode is meant to record all your actions on a particular object or a set of objects that you wish to do during that animation. So let's expand the timeline a bit so that we can see it clearly. On completion of two seconds, what I want is that this ellipse should come somewhere around here at the bottom. And how will that happen? Uh, let's see the dimension of the screen. The dimension of the screen is 1366 cross 768. So uh, the top over here, when it touches this bottom, should be 200 points less than 768 
so let's search the property top in recording mode and let's make it 568 All right, the moment I do this, you will see two things over here. Number one, the item has actually moved down. And number two, it has created a, a click point for me. Now, after another two seconds, what I want to do is, I'll move the timeline to another two seconds which is four now I want this object should go and touch this corner of the screen so to make that happen I'll select the element back again and I'll change the top property to back to zero and here the left should be Two hundred points less than one three six six, so which will be all right. So let me save this. Now, if I want to see how is it going to perform, let's play this animation slowly goes down and then goes to the corner all right now this is a motion that we have seen uh, let's run the application and see how it works in action so visual studio tells me uh, there has been some changes I accept those and let me run this application Though I have created an animation, but this uh, ellipse is not moving at all. Can you guess the reason? Right. I have not actually started the storyboard. So let's do that. And how do we do that? I'll go into the code behind. And in here, I'll say ellipse storyboard dot begin. And now if I run this application, you would see the ellipse is moving on the screen and in the way I wanted it to. Alright. Let's do some more things over here. So I'll go back uh, to blend. And back in the timeline, when it was touching two seconds, what I want is if there should be some um, three-dimensional rotation in the ellipse as well. So to do that, we'll be making use of transform. In transform, I'll select rotate and I'll do something like this all right when it is moving again I'll make some changes here and finally when it touches let it be zero in between here so let's see how it performs all right let's go back to visual studio and run this again so you would see that uh, in the timeline I had specified uh, at the end of it there should be a uh, transformation by which it will be tilted 
but you would see it's not uh, it's, it's it's actually tilting from the beginning to this point it's not randomly tilting at this this juncture and the reason is because of easing functions in place so let's see what what that thing is let's go back and let's open this thing let's go back to the timeline let's select this place so while this is happening I was changing the left and the projection and the top properties so many things in here so let's first select the left one in here you would see uh, easing function is done so it's it's basically taking uh, a uniform pattern across the timeline but let's select from various other options that we have so let me select this one then uh, for projection let me select a behavior like this and for top this one let me select elastic behavior now let's run this wow so I'll save this and I'll go back and I'll run the application once again now you see the easing function coming into play so you can select any of those functions each function uh, is driven by its uh, curve definition and uh, by experimenting with various options you may actually get the desired one which you want in your application all right now let's see how we can use the same animation into the phone project uh, which is part of the universe, uh, universal application template let's stop this application and open the project and go into the main page of phone I'll copy this text from here back into phone project remove the background from here okay so you can see the moment I uh, have tasted this code here uh, it starts showing up there in main page after the navigation actually in on navigator 2 over here I will say ellipse storyboard dot begin the problem here uh, is that the dimension of the screen is not the same as what we were seeing there so let's see what the dimensions are in here uh, the dimension the height uh, and the width so looking into this first of all let me make it a little smaller for phone and uh, regardless let's run this and see uh, it'll go out of bound uh, on the phone but I can technically show you it runs as good as it was running on a tablet to run this uh, I'll have to change the startup project so I'll make the phone project as startup project and let us run it and see it in action
great. So it works equally good on uh, the phone as well. So the same fundamentals that I was talking about uh, when I was doing things on tablet are equally applicable on phone. And similarly, if you use this uh, Blend for Visual Studio 2013 for WPF applications, exactly in the same way you can do animation there. Now, while this presentation, I was switching back and forth between Visual Studio and Blend. You can run the projects from Blend itself. So here, uh, you have run project. So whatever project is selected, you can run it from here. Uh, but the problem with Blend is that it does not give me IntelliSense while I am typing. For example, if I say resource and if I start typing something here nothing shows up so there is no intelligence in typing this is basically a designing tool and most of the work is supposed to be done by uh, the toolbars and things so probably that is the reason why intelligence does not work in here uh, and for C sharp coding, definitely Visual Studio is much better environment. So I kept switching back and forth between uh, the two tools. With this, I come to the end of this session. I hope uh, you have learned decent bit of animation to uh, get going, to start thinking about animations in your applications. One thing that I would like to mention here before I close the session is that I have started the storyboard in the code behind. People who are MVVM lovers, they would not like to do that. And there are various approaches to deal with it. In subsequent series, I will definitely talk about how to deal with uh, animation from a view model. How can you trigger that? All right. Thanks. Thanks for watching the video. Stay tuned for upcoming ones. Thank you.